weeds grow very easily oh. and and oh, they do in our lives as well Pulling out weeds remember jesus gave a parable and he said to let them grow into the harvest because you can pull out <laughs> the good as well as the bad so yeah. we've got to be careful when we i yes. pulled out i've tried to do nothing i've been very busy so i tried to do nothing but then i saw this big obvious weed that i pulled out and in pulling out that weed it actually pulled up that some beautiful tomatoes that were hidden underneath the bush so in getting rid of that it actually brought this beautiful produce up to the top and they were better than the ones that were visible i thought that was a little, yeah, little metaphor i found i had a similar experience pulling back some pepino and underneath it was all the strawberries that were trying to grow and um, common theme in my life that I'm, there's, I'm involved in too many things and need to kind of cut some of it back so the other stuff can uh, grow as well so um, that's my little thought. Yeah. Um, all right well let's uh, share this little meal together which is again a very simple bounty uh, from food from the garden, uh, wheat, uh, grapes, um, probably wasn't much other than wheat and grapes back originally now it's got a bit of yeast in it as well. Um, and we just uh, remember that Jesus ate many meals with people and that was a big part of his ministry. Uh, often scandalised people because he'd eat with all the wrong kinds. Um, but he also ate with the snooty-nosed people that like to judge everyone uh, as well. Um, so much so that uh, when um, his disciples gathered to remember him, it's often through this meal. Uh, Paul talked about the fact that on the night that he was betrayed, Jesus took some bread. Gabe's going to give it a go for us. And when he'd given thanks for us, as Jewish people always did, he broke it. It's got a crack there for a crack. And so this is my body. When you eat it, remember me. And also after supper, he took the cup. And this cup's the new covenant in my blood. When you drink it together, remember me. And we remember blood uh, both as a source of life and also as a source of sacrifice. Remember that often uh, loving God and loving your neighbour and loving yourself brings you into conflict with people, particularly if you point out to them that they should be loving not only themselves but everybody else, uh, including people that they'd rather despise.